Hello, my name is Zoltar and welcome back to uh, Samurai Jack Season 5, Episode 5, XC6 or XCVI. Um, I I think in the last episode, um, we definitely saw uh, Ashi and Jack interacting with others, so I think we're gonna get more of that. And by the way, I was right again. I'm saying that uh, my, my theories for Samurai Jack is right so far. Uh, so I'm definitely thinking we're gonna see the Scotsman coming in. Um, we're definitely going to see more of them interacting with each other, as I said uh, at the beginning of this episode. Um, and we're definitely, hopefully, I think, I think this is what they're going to do. Uh, so far I'm right, but I may be wrong this time, you know. You can't be right all the time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, okay, so I think what it's going to happen is she's actually is going to ask more questions and we're going to have more of the Tara Strong uh, voice acting coming through there hopefully you know but uh, I think she's definitely going to play it off as more uh, Grey's voice which she's doing so good so far um, and I could just hear a twinge of that Tara Strong voice because you know she's done uh, Very Odd Parents uh, she's done also um, <laughs> She's done also like Bubbles and uh, Harley Quinn from the video games. That's why I love Tara Strong. Um, so uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely see her question Jack and question why uh, he's not fighting with the with Aku instead of against him. And I think uh, you know she's also going to be questioning why she's fighting with Aku. And you know she's seen the kindness of Jack, you know, because she was expecting him to kill the ladybug. Um, anyway, guys, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm babbling. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go. I still, I still love the intro. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this scene right here, the one with the mountain, it really reminds me of Song of the Sea. Like if you guys um, watched the movie Song of the Sea, that's that's the whole like thing because like we see the water splashing against the mountain and everything. I just I just thought of that right now. Uh, I hope I hope he, he finds the sword soon. Yeah, buddy. Credit by Gendy Tarakovsky, man, it's so good to have you back, Gendy. In the series world, I mean, you know, we've we've, we've had um, certain movies with uh, Gendy's name in it. Is it Gendy or Gendy? Wow, that's a lot of tanks. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of people, that's a lot of armies. So we just had the first battalion. This is probably the second battalion. Yes, it's the Scotsman. Oh my God, it, it, is that him? Oh yes, it is, it is. <laughs> oh, it's so good to hear Johnny Major's voice in that Scottish accent again. <laughs> And he's definitely older, of course, you know, because it's 50, 50 years for him. Uh, for Jack, you know, time doesn't really affect him because, you know, he was a traveler in time. Oh man, look at that. The tanks kind of intrigue me because, you know, it's a new kind of tank. Oh. Uh, it's a new kind of tank and the rhinos are kind of like tanks too because they're raining down missiles. <laughs> oh 
question marks. <laughs> Oh, he's... <laughs> Dude, he's doing a really good job. I, I can understand why the... the, uh, the grandchildren of uh, Mako cried when they heard his uh, rendition this time. Because it was like listening to, his, uh, to their grandfather once more. No arguing, go. I don't think so. What the fuck, guys? Oh my god! <laughs> oh man... That's how you know it's more adult. We we would have never seen that in the old um, in the old series. Ah, uh, okay. So it's gonna be kind of like a ghost. <laughs> that big baby. <laughs> oh, that, that's cool though. Man, but the man, that was some imagery, huh? The skeleton and everything, and him like turning into dust? Wow. See, she's questioning things. Uh, and by the way, it's just a moon.
Okay, I know I'm a bit rusty on uh, the mythical creatures of Samurai Jack, but man, that was awesome. A water dragon? Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Wow. And the soundtrack is still good, man. It like, okay, it like caught air for like two minutes, but that was awesome. Yeah, I remember. I remember the, the, some of the animals could talk as well. She she still has questions. Oh look at that! Oh my god, I just, I'm just so in awe of the production, guys. Like, I I I can't I can't shut up about this. Uh, I I'm sorry if I'm annoying. <laughs> She's probably like what. <laughs> that was Tara Strong, by the way. You're not ready. That's that's a cool mythos. Aww. What was that? <laughs> they forgot to cut out the commercials. Look at that! Look at that! That's pure beauty, okay? You see like barren lands? And you see like a tall standing tree with like beautiful blossoms. Alright. Or one might say the Bodhi tree, huh? huh? The Bodhi tree is the tree where Buddha got his enlightenment, by the way. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> Even she's like, what? It's a Russian Clean it out <laughs> <laughs> he's he's he certainly lost his way. So, by the way, there is still a juxtaposition. <clears throat> Even though he doesn't have his um, pure, uh, traditional uh, samurai clothes, this is still considered like uh, normal clothes. Because uh, if you remember in the first few episodes, it was um, armor. It is, it is. Go. Ah, he's, he's still got the moves. <laughs> I like seeing him in this uh, tux, by the way. Go, Ashi, go. Oh, she's not bad, too. Oh, look at that. Oh sh <laughs> That's how I absorbed I am in this. Oh, that's a bondage <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. 
That's all I could think of, by the way. I like that the the first one just like calmly opened the doors. She knows, she, I know what they're doing. Oh, that is some mind over matter shit right there. That is some mind over matter. That, oh my god. She is strong. Superman punch. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> If you just wait it though, I think they're just unconscious. There we go. See? Getting getting a little mo emotional here. Oh, whoo. Uh, oh, it's never fun to see kids get hurt. Let me tell you. Um, yeah, that was a really good episode. Uh, okay, so two two of my theories have been shot down now. The the theory, okay, maybe, still maybe not, still maybe not, okay, here's the thing, I, I think the shadowy puppet, like, the shadowy guy, the, you know, the horse and the, the banner, is kind of his demons, like, personified, but it's also his blade calling out to him, you know, um, okay, the second, um, theory that kind of got shot down was, 
was seeing more uh, Scotsman, but the twist on it was that he was uh, he's a ghost now, so we we don't we don't really know if we'll see him again. But I think he's definitely gonna be like a spirit that's gonna guide them, uh, guide his kids uh, to finding Jack and stopping uh, Aku finally or something along those lines. Um, man, Samurai Jack's uh, psyche is just like tortured all the way through, and him seeing all the kids like getting zapped was like the final straw for him. I think. You know, uh, and definitely um, the guy, you know, torturing Ashi, you know, brought up the whole like, oh, you know, kids are so easily <laughs> and of course, you know, brought up some emotions from her because, you know, she knows what it's like to be brainwashed and used for other people's gain. So that's just a lot of psychological, like a, a lot of psychological things are happening in this and uh, definitely the tree was the turning point for her that's why I said it's kind of like the Bodhi tree for this episode so um thank you guys for watching and uh, if you liked it please like it and uh, subscribe uh, and I will see you in the next episode see you then